53 hours left, and we're still 32 minutes behind schedule. Those posted to make the attempt to reach Zyra report without delay to Dr. Dre. Like this. Well, what did you expect? My number! It's on! Remember, if we delay the takeoff tomorrow as long as possible, Zyra's position will form a perfect orbit with ours. I hope we can retain that extra fuel to keep us flying over Zyra while we look for a landing room. Zyra will be about here in relation to Earth. If you can hold the ship to this curve, we will be able to meet her orbit and run on a parallel. The fuel will last much longer with less cargo. Why risk our necks by taking so many people? You and that chair weigh 186 pounds. That's worth a lot of fuel, Mr. Stanton. Would you like to donate that weight? No more than you want to donate your life or your daughter's. I paid for finishing this ship. Without me, you would have been wiped out with the rest of the world. Before you opened your pocketbook, you tried to make this a personal enterprise, a private rocket ship for your own special use. This project was started by real humanitarians, by Marston and Spiro. They gave their money with no strings attached. You're not here under any special license. You're always shouting for facts, not theories. Well, remember these facts. Our chance of reaching the new world is as thin as your chance of ever becoming a humanitarian. If we do make it, will there be a place to land? Will the air be fit to breathe? Will there be water, vegetable life? Men and women here have been praying for God's help and guidance. Not your kind of hypocritical praying, but the kind that comes from deep inside a man. I'm sorry. I'll come back later. No, no, Eddie, come right in. We can't put things off till later. I just wanted to leave this for someone else to use. He has a girl. Julie Cummings. I guess he doesn't want to leave her. There's that extra fuel. He must weigh close to 180. You heard him volunteer to stay behind? Shut the door. You're not taking it from him. He turned it back of his own free will. Get out, Ferris. The other side of the door for you. Shut up. This is one of the good ones, isn't it? I'm sorry. The people have all been selected. I'm going too. Put that gun down. I'd almost rather kill you than go along. For seven years, ever since I started pushing this chair around, I've hated your insides. You're a very easy man to hate. I'd like to reason things out with you, Ferris. You see... No. You three are running things here. You're going to tell everybody I'm going. This is my number. That's all the reasoning I want to know. And if I don't go... He was going to kill us. Better give it to me. I told you this would happen. And not just Ferris. There'll be others, all of them. They won't just sit still and wait to die here. He may be right. Now, this one's dead, and there's been a lot of bad feeling. One boy was stabbed right after the list was posted. Been a couple of fist fights. I told you. It's dog eat dog. The law of the jungle. I guess we can't risk his being right. What do we do now? Well, we can move the women on board, lock the ramp gates. The men can wait outside the ship until we take off. The Good. guns are in my room, boxes of them. That's out. We'll have to move people and animals as quietly as possible. Oh, Dave, there's a girl, Julie Cummings. Tell her there's been a mix-up in the listing. She and Eddie Garson are going. We'll gamble on less flying time over the new world. Let me tell Don't you... Don't say it, Stanton. Don't say anything. <laughs>